Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Watchers Podcast with your hosts, Brad and Colson. <laughs> That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Are we square? Sure, tails. Oh, Jesus, you're a nutty culture. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. My name is Brad, here with Colson Oliver. Hello. And today, we're doing a top ten. It's our Sunday, 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 top ten. That's my favorite part of doing top tens. <laughs> the dramatic top ten intro. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Colson, do you like to draw? Sometimes. Okay. Well, that's not going to lead into this very well. Okay. Um, I used to like to draw. Uh-huh. Whenever I was a child, I dreamt of being a cartoonist. Turns out I wasn't good enough. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about cartoons instead. Okay. We are going to be doing our top ten <laughs> animated movies right on took me a little while to get there but i we, strung it all together that's right it's all that matters in the end yep um so the, there's no rules other than it can't be live action um can be computer animated hand-drawn um i don't know smeared with shit yep, i guess I if guess you want so. to do it that way i don't know um yeah okay Did you uh, have fun doing this list it was a trickier one for me I agree. Trying, not only trying to place the order, but just trying to pick yeah. 10 that I was like, yeah, these are the 10. Yeah. So I got them. Um, yeah. I was going to message you, th this isn't on my list, but I was going to message you about a movie like Mary Poppins, where... Would we count yeah. that where it's like half Anna? It's not even or half. Or like Who Framed Roger exactly Rabbit. Exactly, those type, but I... Yeah. I, I didn't bother because they, they didn't make my list anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I picked 10. Um, I figured it would be half and half, be, half being not Disney, the other half being Disney. Mm -hmm. It's close to that, but, uh, yeah, not quite half and half. Yeah, mine, I thought I was going to have more Disney than I did. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, there's not very many. Okay. Spoiler. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're ready to go. Yeah, you're number 10. My number 10, a goofy movie. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this one, uh, this one is a childhood, came out in like the mid 90s, I think, right at that age mm -hmm. where I was, I love it. I would even rent this movie when I was like 15. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was like it's one of great. those. <laughs> I love it. Good um, music. Yeah, great music. Power line. They go into the power line. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's a father-son trip. Across the country. Yep. And, uh, yeah. You got Goofy as a single dad. Yep. Doing his best. That's right. Great movie. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. You're number 10. Uh, my number 10, not quite as heartwarming as yours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> South Park, bigger, longer, and uh, uncut. Good, good. <laughs> uh, went to this one in theaters when I was much too young to right. be going to see this in theaters. Uh, the whole Terrence and Phillip song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. Mm -hmm. As a child, I was probably in grade eight, I think. Yeah. I thought that was the funniest thing in the of world. Of course. Um, yeah. One of the best musicals of all time. Yeah, this, uh, the Blame Canada was nominated for an Oscar, I, yeah. I believe. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't, I know Robin Williams performed it at the Oscars, yeah. which is uh, hilarious. Yeah. Um, Great movie. Yeah. Uh, my number nine, The Little Mermaid. Oh, good one. So, yeah, this is uh, 
I, I enjoy this movie. It's great. Yeah. Great animation. Awesome bad guy. Yeah. Great songs. Yeah. Very good pick. I love the uh I love the uh the seagull. Mm-hmm. There, there's a specific scene at the wedding scene on the boat when he's fucking trying to sabotage it. Yeah. And he gets down there and he screams. Like, he full out <laughs> screams in Ursula's face and she's like, why you squeeze his neck? Fucking hilarious. I love, <laughs> I I laugh and love that scene. Yeah. It's my favorite scene in the movie. Um, so, yeah. I love the song Under the Sea. Uh-huh. And Kiss the Girl. Yeah, that's They're a great. good one. <laughs> uh, my number nine... Land Before Time. Okay. Uh, this came out forever ago. Yeah, I mean, it was like 1980 the, something. Yeah. Uh, when I was a, a young lad in mm-hmm. like grade one and obsessed with dinosaurs. Right. I loved this movie. Yeah. Um, I think it still holds up pretty good today. Oh, for sure. It's great. They made like a thousand of these too. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my number eight, Aladdin. Nice. So this is the second of that era. Mm-hmm. They call I don't know what they call it. They call it something in Disneyland, in Disneyland, yeah. not in the theme park, but in, you know, Disney aficionados say it's yeah. some sort of Was era. Is this the golden era? Maybe. It might be. Or that would be, I don't know. Yeah. But from like the late, late 80s, early 90s, that, that chunk of movies. Where they made the good ones. The good ones. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Aladdin. Uh, Robin Williams, again. Uh, Perfect as the genie. Yeah, he's great. I wonder if anyone will ever try and be the genie again mm. later on and be half as good as Robin Williams was. Yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. I wonder if Will Smith will ever get another chance to be the genie. Let's hope not. Yeah. I'm holding that grudge forever. Uh, you're number eight. Um, my number eight, The Simpsons movie. Okay. Uh, basically like a, a long episode of The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it only has like a 75 minute run time or something. Yeah, so I it's think pretty so. Quick. Sounds right. Um, you just got Homer screwing up as bad as he possibly can exactly. this time. Spider Pig is yeah. great. Um, yeah, just <laughs> them living in Alaska. Yeah. Homer throws up the middle fingers, which is hilarious because Simpsons only have four fingers, including <laughs> their thumb. So it's literally like <laughs> his, his his middle on his fucking weird hand. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great. Yeah. Bart shows his wiener. <laughs> exactly. His dick's in it. Classic. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah. That's my number eight. <laughs> okay, my number seven, An American Tale. Ooh, good one. Uh, Steven Spielberg um, produced it. Uh, mm-hmm. Great movie, though. Another one from my childhood that I watched a lot from like four or five, that era. Yeah. Sticks with me. I love it. It's very sad. It's stupid yeah. Fievel and his fucking dumb hat that he has to go get. <laughs> Shithead. And I fucking hate mice. Mice are... I'm like an, literally like an elephant. Have you ever seen Mythbusters? I have. They 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 put uh, like a a bucket, and they they have an elephant walk towards it, and they pull it like twenty times, and the elephant just keeps walking. It doesn't bother them. Then they put a mouse under the bucket, and they pull it, and it stops, and it walks like thirty feet around. Really? Yeah. I'm the same fucking way. I hate mice. They scare the <laughs> shit out of me. I'm terrified of them. <laughs> But this movie, they're adorable and cute. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, great, great watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number seven, probably my favorite animated movie that has Burt Reynolds. Okay. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Okay. Um, just a weird, weird, depressing movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got dead dogs and coming back to Earth and just... <laughs> Insanity. Yeah. Cool bad guy. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about this one. It's yeah. it's just good. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I love it. Okay. Uh, my number six. First Pixar mention, The Good Dinosaur. Oh, good one. Um, I, I love this one. This one didn't get the attention. It came out the same year as Inside Out, I believe. Yeah. Which they clearly put all their money and shit into. Yeah. Um, I I prefer the good. I love the story a lot more. It's that type of 
I don't know. It's like a what if. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole opening when they're all, the dinosaurs are like eating. Uh-huh. And you see the comet just go like, yeah. <laughs> right by. <laughs> yeah. And just like look up. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a great watch. I love, uh, I love the music in it. Um, I love the characters. Something no one really brings up about this movie. Mm-hmm. The animation, like the forest and stuff, yep. is that it's almost like photorealistic yep. at times. It's yeah. insane. There's uh, there's certain scenes where they just shoot like a river flowing or whatever, yeah. and it it literally looks like you're watching planet Earth. Yeah, like there's a there's a few of those. It's some of the best work Pixar has done. Yeah, and you never hear anything about no, it. No, no, it's unfortunate, but uh, it got me. So that's that's what I give a shit about. That's right. That's all we need. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, you're number six. Uh, also, my first the first Pixar okay one on my list, Monsters Inc. Okay. Uh, I love this movie. Mm-hmm. I always have. I like the design of all the monsters. I like how they're incorporated into the world. Yeah. Um, I like the whole story idea of harvesting screams. It's a great for, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love the look of Sully. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Mike Wazowski. John Goodman, Billy Crystal. Can't yeah. go wrong. No. And you get a great villain with uh, Steve Steve Buscemi. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, Randall. 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 Yeah, the he's creepy. Creep fuck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking kids movies here, essentially. Yeah. Well, not really. He had South Park on there, so fuck. That's right. Um, You're number five. My number five, Space Jam. Ah. Uh, I love this movie. And we're talking Michael Jordan here. LeBron James can... Oh, I thought it was the LeBron one. Yeah. I don't, is that called... Oh, Space Jam Legacy. Right. Yeah, no, no. Space Jam, the original. Is it just the R. Kelly music you like? I, I do enjoy the R. Kelly music, yeah. and what he does in his off time is fascinating to me. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> just joking. Um, no, great, great animation with this when they mix in. Uh, when da- um <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. Sorry. When, uh, okay. when Bugs and then... And, um, Fucking whatever his name is, the da- duck. Daffy Duck. Thank you. They go back to get his shorts. Uh hilarious. Oh yeah, that's I, right. I fucking love it. And Newman, you get Newman from mm-hmm. Seinfeld. Wayne Knight. Bill Murray. Bill Murray again. Yep. Um yeah, Bill Murray. He's he the my favorite scene in the movies when they're golfing, they Yeah. He Bill Murray hits the ball and he just holds the pose of like the after swing and yeah. Michael Jordan's just like you can stop posing now, like <laughs> He's like, oh, it's literally like a 15-second hold. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so Space Jam, number five. Um, my number five is My Neighbor Totoro. Okay. Uh, I love this movie. You got two kids moving to a new little village. They find this woodland creature in the woods called Totoro. Mm-hmm. He's just, I don't know, the whole movie... It's one of those ones that you could just watch and it's just kind of peaceful, even though there's like some sad parts with the story with their mother being in the hospital and stuff. Right. But yeah, Kale and Audra love this one too. They watch it all the time. Okay. Um, there's just a few scenes in general that the animation, you're like, this is so pretty. Like right. they did such a good job. Yeah. They have a cat bus that shows up. It's literally a cat. <laughs> That's a bus. <laughs> Um, and another one where they're standing waiting at the bus stop and Totoro is just there with a leaf on his head and the rain's falling. It's just, I don't know, super peaceful. I mm-hmm. love the movie. That's good. Yeah. Uh, my number four was hot, lower on your list, The Land Before Time. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, you mentioned it. I, I do enjoy it. It's, it's again, one of those, I'm the same as you when I was young. Uh, I watched it and it stuck with me. It's a, it's short. It's very yeah. sad. Super sad. For not being... Disney's no, definitely known for having the... the the Some sort of death or whatever. This one takes that and it's like... Yeah. It ups it almost. You know, it's very sad. That's right. Um, Something I forgot too is the animation in this is so mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Like even just the water and the leaves and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was, looks so good. And they do shots of like the volcanoes and stuff like that erupting as the dinosaurs are kind of walking. And it just... Mm-hmm. It looks really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. So, that was my number four. Nice. Um, my number four is one that I thought was going to probably be my number one. Okay. When I made this list. 
and it's The Jungle Book. Okay. Love The Jungle Book. Love the songs, the characters, like Baloo and Bagheera and everybody. Yeah. Ka. Yeah. It's just great. Yeah. King Louie. And that I want to be like you song is yeah. just the best. <laughs> I love this movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. Um, my number three is I I I think that the next three we're gonna have two of the same. Just one second. Mm, I think we might have one. Okay. Well, we'll find out in a minute here. Okay. Uh, my number three is The Lion King. Okay, so this one, uh, this one again, kind of in that era, mm-hmm. nineteen ninety four came out. Young JTT, yeah, voicing young Simba. You get Matthew Broderick ugh, voicing adult Simba. You get uh, James Earl is it James Earl Jones, yeah, doing Mufasa. <clears throat> yep, love it. Um, it's the best. I like yeah. that they brought him back for the definitely live act. Not live action, CGI one. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's uh, it's the CGI exact same movie with one added scene. Yeah, it's uh, but no, the original great movie. Mm-hmm. Again, very sad, very good though. Scar, Jer- Jeff, Jeremy Irons. Yeah, I've made this mistake a bunch. I always, for some reason, want to call him Jeffrey. I don't know why, <laughs> but his his voice, uh, voicing of Scar, fucking great. Yeah, love it. Yeah, this movie might have some of the best casting mm-hmm. of all time, yeah, voice wise. Definitely good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your number three. My number three, Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I I forgot about this, but I, I knew it would make your list. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I still haven't seen this one. I own it, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. So. Um just multiple Spider Mans all together. Yeah. Spider Woman's <laughs> um, crazy animation style, good story, mm-hmm. um, good music, funny, and uh, great voice work. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to watch it. I don't. I don't know. I like all the Spider Man movies. I just haven't got to this one. Yeah, it's great. I own it. I do too. Oh, okay. I think yeah. I have it on 4K even. Oh, well, then you have no excuse. Exactly. It's just sitting there. <laughs> Um, tempting. Uh, my number two, Beauty and the Beast. Not on my list. Fuck. Okay, well, I, I think our, I think we're going to be the same on one, then you're right. I hope, anyway, you're going to get a fucking head kick. Um, Beauty and the Beast, yeah, this is my favorite, uh, spoiler alert, but it's my favorite, like, not CGI animation. You know what? I don't think we're going to have any of the same. Fuck. Wow. Um, so now I feel like I know what your number one is. We'll keep going. <laughs> yes. I love the movie. It's, it's again, came out in that. All my Disney ones are, are from that time frame. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my favorite. I remember getting this on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. And it being the one movie where I'm like, oh, shit. Like, animation on Blu-ray yeah. looks so much better. It is. Yeah, it's very good. Like, especially that dancing scene yeah like with the beauty and the beast song yeah it's crazy it looks really good yeah yeah your number two my number two rock a doodle okay <laughs> damn it <laughs> uh you got a rooster who is basically elvis <laughs> uh gets taken away and a group of barnyard animals that are his friends have to find <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I know that uh, that uh, description of the movie isn't the best, hey. but it's it's good. The songs are good. The animation's great. Um, yeah, I love it. When did that movie come out? Do you know? Maybe early nineties. Okay. I think it might also be like another one of the like Don Bluth movies, right? Because it has that same style of animation and stuff too. Okay. Okay. Your number one. Uh, my number one, back to Pixar, Toy Story. I knew that was going to be your number yes. one. <laughs> um, yeah. I love it. It's great. This is what started Pixar. This was their first one, yeah. Yeah. Um, the animation is definite. Like, you can see where it's come 
you know, so far. Like, I, I believe it's this one where they don't show heads of humans because they just couldn't get the hair right or something like that. Yeah, they never show the mom. Okay. Yeah. There was something about hair. Maybe, I, I can't remember now, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, this movie's fantastic. My favorite scene in this movie is when, uh, when Woody is trying to get back on the, <laughs> get back on the moving truck at the end. And they're riding that that fucking car with Buzz and everything, and he he lights the the thing that that, 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 that's, that Sid had strapped to him, and he gets the actual like that 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 Jeez. jiggly face thing as he's going into the wind. It is so funny. Yeah. Um, me and my my kids and I, we just we fucking die yeah. laughing. It is so funny. It is. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Like. That wasn't flying. That was falling with style. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, and the whole like, I love that Don Rickles is uh, yeah in this as Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, and he actually calls someone a hockey puck. Yeah, it's a hockey puck. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like, there's just so many, so many jokes in this. Yeah, they're all great, both for children and for adults. That's yeah. one thing that that Disney and Pixar have have really nailed. Like, mm -hmm. you you don't have to worry of taking your kids to a a thing because you're the adults are going to get at least one or two laughs in, in the whole thing yeah. so uh yeah it's a good watch yeah um yeah your number one uh, my number one uh the iron giant okay i love this movie it it just has such a good like 1950s monster movie feel to it right like it has the setting and like small town with the diner and just everything about it i love it I've never seen it. Oh. I know. I back. I, I I was on TV and I had the movie channels and mm -hmm. I recorded it on my PVR, and then I never got to it before I had to send the PVR back because uh. I canceled my dish. <laughs> I know the movie's on Amazon for like ten bucks or cheaper. Yeah, uh, definitely want to see it. Yeah, it's, I feel like it would be on your top ten. Yeah, I think so. It's really really good. Yeah, sounds good. Looks good, but uh, yeah. So no Toy Story for you. No, and it was Fucker. almost on there. Okay. I, because I could have probably done half my list as Pixar movies alone. Yeah, that's true. So I had to <clears throat> ease back. I just picked one. I had I had two Pixar. I had five Disney, and I had three non Disney. Yeah, they were the Land Before Time, Space Jam, and um, whatever the fuck, <laughs> the yeah. American Tale. Yes, I do love. Back to Space Jam, real quick. How they slam the the Disney in that scene when they're walking back because da the duck is like, "I got the the perfect name for a team, the Ducks." <laughs> <laughs> Bugs is like, "What kind of Mickey Mouse organization names a team the Ducks?" And it's just like it's the Mighty Ducks, right? Yeah, um, very funny. That is great. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your breakdown of Disney to not? Um, I only have. One Disney movie. Wow. Unless you count My Neighbor Totoro. You're right. Um, and then Monsters, Inc. You're right. And I guess technically now the Simpsons movie would also that's, be a yeah, Disney movie. I guess that's true. Um, yeah, besides that, there was a South Park. Oh, you're, yeah. you're all over the place. Yeah. Now, just to clarify, so not to spoil any future lists that we may do involving Pixar movies... But you prefer Monsters, Inc. to Toy Story? I do. Okay. I like Toy Story a lot. Yeah. Um, I also feel like Encanto wasn't Pixar, though. It was just Disney, right? Just Disney, yeah. yeah. Eventually, I think that'll end up on a list okay. somewhere of animated movies. I really liked that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I almost put Moana on mine, which... Oh, that's a good one, too. I like that movie. Um, definitely one of my favorite of the last ten years, you know? Yeah. But uh, I haven't seen a bunch of the last, like, few years. Yeah. I own them, but I just haven't watched them yet. Right. So. Um, another honorable mention on mine would have been uh, Lilo and Stitch. Okay. <laughs> it's a great movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just got edged out. But. Mm -hmm. I had the Simpsons movie on mine, and I bumped it. Yeah. And the other one I was contemplating was Treasure Planet. 
Oh yeah, which I, I enjoy Treasure Planet. The animation in that is really good. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, Mulan was no, on my love, list. Love Mulan. for a little while. Yeah, and then it got bumped off. Now, have um, you seen Have you seen Pocahontas? Yep. Do you like it? It's all right. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't find that movie memorable. No. I think, like, all those ones that came out in the 90s are very memorable, but that one just doesn't hit yeah. with me. My wife really likes Pocahontas, okay. but she also has, like, a childhood memory of going to the movies with her dad okay. and her sister and stuff and watching it. Anytime so we talk about that movie, that gets brought up. Right. So she has that connection with it. Okay. Um, and she likes it anyway, besides that. Um, but I feel like I just haven't seen that one enough, maybe. Okay. I've only seen it once or maybe twice. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that'll do it for this top ten. Yeah. Uh, like always, tell us your favorite animated movies. Yeah. Um, give us a list of ten, three, five, just your favorite, anything at all. We enjoy the comments. Uh, make sure to follow so you catch all our future episodes. And we'll be back next week with something a little bit different. Bye. Bye.